Oh my god, Robbie, you're clearly retarded. You don't understand the metagame. Metal foes are clearly not the best deck. You're actually stupid. <sighs> so that's that's what I dealt with yesterday on the meta discussion. Um, kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit more on what I consider the... or how I consider uh, going about the best deck and analyzing this format. Because everyone, including Mega Capital G, just seems to think that I'm an idiot when it comes to this. So, we're going to go in-depth and discuss the meta again. So, the two big events we've had so far, UDS and the YCS Mexico, uh, both were won by Metal Foes. Um, Alright, sure, the, the two major events were that. Um, during the previous format, guess what? Most of the major events were won by PK Fire. And you know what? Like, it was it was abundantly clear, and that's kind of where a lot of the butthurt came from, uh, with the previous metagame as to why Dante was still fucking around. Because we had enough of it last format. Now, here's the thing. It's not really much of a contention that the format is very diverse. Um, I've talked about that enough. You guys have had that rim down your throat pff, more times than I can fucking count. So we all we all know that PK Fire is a very relevant deck. Uh, we know fucking Harold is around. Um, we know Blue Eyes is a deck. Now, what what makes these decks? Not as good as Metal Foes. Because as Mega Capital G said, uh, PK Fire might have had more showings. Sure. You know what? Like, you can go to any 300 man fucking regional. You can go to any 200 man regional. And PK Fire can consistently top. Sure. And you know what? For argument's sake, with the UDS being under 200 people, I can't remember the exact number. I think it was like one. I don't want to say like 140 because I'm probably wrong. Um. So, for the size and, like, the tier count, um, you know, like, obviously the best players are there, but for argument's sake, you know, like, we're going to toss it out because no matter how many good players you have in the room, obviously the guy that won has no idea what the fuck he's doing. And, all right, let's, let's go to YCS Mexico. Obviously, it's not located in North America, and it's not in Toronto, so we can throw the event out because, obviously, they don't know what they're doing. So, it's pretty abundant now that we've removed it, and now that we're just clearly looking at regional tops, that Metal Foes is not the best deck. But, in a competitive large standpoint from the events that we've had so far, Metal Foes has been the very clear winner. Now, as I've said, PK Fire. The deck is there. The deck is very relevant. But, in a format that's like octagonal, like eight sides... I, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, you can play anything now, but there's always going to be that one matchup that is going to either just be severely more consistent than you are, or even, you know, like, you're going to lose. And that's one of the things I wanted to give P, or not PK Fire, um, give Metal Fist credit for. Um, look at the deck. Um, we already know that Pendulums, if unchecked, are a super ridiculous, I'm not going to say archetype, but the theme of them is insane. Being able to just summon five monsters, up to five monsters in one push, without spending 5,000 light points and playing a spell card called Soul Charge, um, I mean, okay, and we, we've looked back at the fucking nightmare that uh, Pendulums were, uh, the Draco Pal deck, the full power deck. Like, there's a reason why these things are absurd. There's a reason why Kieran's at one. Now, as I've said, having the ability to constantly reuse monsters is a thing. But Robbie, Burning Abyss can reuse Dante. Okay, so the, the problem with PK Fire at the moment is that one Beatrice. Granted, you know, like, you can do some crazy shit, like... I don't know who's doing this, but, like, you can play Transmodify, you can do some crazy shit, you can, uh, the Dark Claw variants, um, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do, like, you have Mass Change too. obviously, like, your window for tech choices is a lot better in PK Fire, as opposed to Metal Foes, and sure, you know, like, your tech choices might get you over the hurdle with a lot of matchups, 
and you know what power to you but from strictly looking at the current events um, that we've had in this format um metal foes is just doing it. it it's just getting there and i i'm sticking with the mentality right now that like pendulums are super good and like they're getting metal foes are getting more support next set i mean why can't we be like japan can we have scout to two and then like everyone will complain about please done having three card of demise and three bottle desires i mean i'm not one to not complain about things that i consider broken i still think three card of demise is very unhealthy for the game because you know like we've hit chicken game we've hit upstar goblin so you know like generic draw doesn't seem like something that konami touches but they touch if that makes sense it's it's a weird outlook so we've only talked about pk fire and metal foes i don't think i'm gonna go into herald i don't think i'm gonna go into water i don't think i'm gonna go into ddd like okay so i guess i'll touch on ddd and dark synchro all right so Dark Synchro hasn't severely seen a major appearance so far. I know TK Central's got some crazy list. Um, I know I'm going to sit down with him sometime later this week when I can get his ass to sit down and do a deck profile with me um, to discuss his Dark Synchro variant. Um, I mean, like, people know about the deck. It's much like um, Cody Angelov and I, I can't remember the other guy's name. LeBlanc and LeBlanc's uh, Synchro Turbo deck. You know, like, the community was aware that it was there, but it hasn't shown its ugly head very much yet. It's coming. <laughs> Don't fucking think it's not. But at the end of the day, it's just kind of looming in the back of the room. Like, I'm there. And then we have the other dark horse of the format, DDD. Now, obviously, when I say Metal Foes is a good deck... Um, or the best deck, um, next to BK Fire, you have Metal Foes sitting over here going, ee -hee, soon. Everyone was like, you know, like, you don't need the structure deck to play the deck. Everyone was like, you're kinda, kinda bad. Then I saw, uh, Ed Eception playing the deck. Now, like, Ed might not have been the first person to play the deck, and, er, to bring the deck to the community's light, but he was the first one that brought it to my attention in the Zodiac tournament. And that's one of the things, like, I want to give Ed credit for, was he brought the deck's potential to light to me. And just seeing some of the things that, like, the deck can do without having the more structural build. Um, granted, like, the deck might be a lot more fragile right now, but the deck has the ability to kind of expand on itself. Um, a little bit more tech choices, obviously those tech choices make the deck fragile without Lamia, and we all fucking know that. But the deck is topping regionals. Uh, I'm pretty sure the deck probably had some really good appearances at the UDS if people hadn't generally figured that out. Uh, the next event we're going into here, Minneapolis, I'm expecting Metal Foes, fucking DDD, you know, me, I don't... <laughs> I don't think Harold's going to get one or two seats in top 32. I like the deck is good, but like you'll probably see your top dedicated to PK Fire and Metal Foes and definitely some amount of DDD. Now, the rest of the spectrum, you know, like we don't have ABCs yet. You know, like same thing with Blue Eyes. And you know, like I, I said yesterday that eventually I'm going to talk about my first initial reaction to ABC possibly being blue eye syndrome you know like the deck was fucking god tier 9000 in japan like the deck was the best fucking deck you know like fucking win them all win them all win them all play blue eyes you know like and then the deck kind of came over here and was like but pk fire metal foes dd are better you know like the deck just kind of creeped in underneath and it was just like i'm here so i definitely definitely think that going forward ABC like ABCs are a very good deck but we'll we'll discuss them later so um, definitely when you have a game plan of summoning a bunch of monsters you know like pendulums some, something's got to get somewhere but we'll, we'll talk about that later because I haven't actually played the deck yet I've seen people play the deck I understand obviously OTKs are good but Blue Eyes can OTKs too, and they're not super good. So, 
<laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is all kinds of fucking random. So, current point from the premiere event winnings, uh, it's pretty evident, much like last format, that PK Fire was a very strong deck up through nationals. Um, couldn't be played at worlds. Yay, Monarchs won Nationals. Oh, wait. Did they really? So, there's that. But yeah, PK Fire. Is it the best deck, or is it Metal Foes? To each their own opinion. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, statistics, numbers, regionals, LOGSs from Europe... Um, are we gonna count OTS tops too? You know, like, what about ARGs? You know, do, do those count for looking at analyzing the metagame? Um, to each their own in analyzation. So guys, leave a comment down below. Mega capital G, two cents please. Give to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.